All right, good morning, everyone. I hope you're all enjoying the conference so far. I'd like to spend the next few minutes with you talking about Kaler Automation's load pass and what load pass could mean for your facility in terms of efficiency, in terms of safety, and an overall improved loadout experience for everyone involved. I'd like to um, start by asking you to imagine a world. Imagine a world where labor is in tough supply. I mean, imagine that, right? Imagine a world where labor is hard to come by and your valued employees are stuck with repetitive tasks, tasks like um, recording scale weights and um, directing truck drivers to the correct loadout bay to get a load of fertilizer. Imagine a world where every truck that pulls onto your lot, the truck driver has to physically get out of the truck and walk into your plant to interact with your staff to tell them what order they came to pick up and how they want their truck loaded. Furthermore, imagine a world where one of these trucks has been in line for a while, they get to the front of the line, and all of a sudden they don't know what order, they don't have their order number. So now they're on the phone trying to figure out you know, why they're even at your facility. All the while, the trucks are lined up behind them, kind of spilling out into the highway, and nobody's happy at that point, right? It's kind of a mess. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb, though, and kind of imagine that a lot of you folks probably didn't have to imagine that. I know I didn't. Um, that's why Kaler Automation created LoadPass. With load pass, moving trucks through your facility really is as easy as ready, set, load. With these three steps, you can increase your throughput exponentially, improve your safety scores, and provide a driver experience that is second to none. Now you might be asking yourself, what even is a driver experience, and why does that matter? Well, there's an old saying that time is money. Time is money and everyone has choices. So let's make your facility the supplier of choice in your area for drivers and the companies they work for by requiring less of their time at your facility in line and more time for the next load. Now I'm going to go ahead and address the elephant in the room here. I know adopting new software can be a challenge, especially if it's required. And maybe in the case of some of these truck drivers, they don't work for, directly for you. But I'm here to tell you onboarding truck drivers with load pass is simple. It's simple because we provide videos and knowledge base articles and handouts just like these. And all these materials are available in English and Spanish. We provide the materials to quickly onboard drivers and get them familiar with LoadPass for a smooth onboarding experience. But enough about onboarding, I know you're probably more interested in how the thing works. So with LoadPass, what we're trying to do is we're empowering truck drivers to check in before they ever arrive at your site, giving them tools and information to solve their own problems before they're actually in line at your facility and it becomes your problem. So what we're looking at here, the first screen, is the first thing a driver is going to see. We're going to ask them where they're going. So what is the uh, name, city, state, and name of the place you're going? We need to know that because these truck drivers can use this app at any one of our customers' facilities that have load pass. Now, after they enter that information in, you have the ability to provide business hours. That may seem like a small value add, but let's step in the shoes of a trucker for a second. A lot of these folks are having to make decisions when they plan their day, like, do I need to leave tonight or in the morning to go pick up my load, you know, to, to get delivered on time the next day? So with this, this is one less thing they have to Google. It's one less call they have to make to your staff and tie them up, answering another repetitive question. So what we're trying to do with LoadPass is really make you as easy and low friction to work with as possible so these companies want to send their drivers to your facility over and over again. Really just make you as easy as possible to do business with. But on to the next step, we just need to ask some identifying questions. Really, we just want to know, have you given these folks permission to actually come onto your property and get fertilizer or get a load of fertilizer? So you can ask any variation of these questions right here. But the cool thing is we're actually, after they show up one time and do this, we remember it so the next time they don't have to fill this out. They type in the city state and they move on to the next screen here. So that's just one more way we're trying to make it just as, as easy and I'm not going to say fun, but fun to do business with you as possible. So they want to come back again and again, and they tell their bosses that. But now we're kind of getting into the meat of the presentation. I mean, we've got a load here. Um, every load starts with an order number. So load pass to make sure that the order number that they put in is actually a valid number that's in your system, and it hasn't been picked up by another driver yet. If it is not a valid number or it has been picked up by another driver, we provide easy to, easy to read, easy to understand guidance to the driver to help them figure out their own problems and before they actually bring them onto the side and get in your line and slow everything down. So we're giving them the tools to actually figure out that before they show up. 
after they've entered in the order number and it is validated, we provide a visual confirmation of products, customers, and destination. Again, we're giving them the tools to self-help here. I've seen this several times where a trucker may have, you know, five or six order numbers that they're given at the beginning of the week. And they type one of them in, and then they look at their phone and say, you know what? This says DAP, but I was actually supposed to pick up potash. But wouldn't it be nice if they figured that out before they got in line and slowed everything down? You know, so again, we're giving them tools to kind of self-help and, and figure those things out on their own before they show up. And the last step here is we just need to know how you want your truck loaded. Again, this keeps them in their truck when they arrive on site. They don't have to interact with anyone. Your operators know what they need and how they want it loaded before they show up. So we also provide a nice little user-friendly calculator here just to make it that much easier and low friction to work with. But after that, they're checked in. So they are checked in and ready to drive to your facility. Now, on this screen right here, they're actually greeted with an estimated wait and a closing time. So back to the time is money thing. You know, let's, I'm going to pretend I'm a truck driver here. Let's just step in their shoes one more time. And uh, let's say it's uh, mid-afternoon. I've been driving all day. I haven't had lunch. I need to get fuel, and I have about you know, three on-duty hours left before I have to just park my truck and take a break, right? So I can look at my phone as I get closer to your facility, of course, parked, right? I'm going to throw that out there. But I can look at my phone. This updates automatically. So I can see, oh, there's a few trucks in line. I think I'm going to go get some fuel and some food and spend my time that way versus sitting in line, you know, doing nothing. Drivers are really going to appreciate the, having the ability and the, the visibility to do that and the freedom to make that decision and spend their time more usefully than sitting in line. But more than anything, you're going to, going to enjoy having a shorter, faster moving line at your terminal. But now they're checked in, so they're arriving at the location. They're going to roll up to your barcode scanner, roll their window down, and scan their phone right there. There's no reason a driver should have to get out of their truck at all if you're using load pass except to roll the tarp down and roll the tarp back up. That's it. So if there is a truck scale involved, they're also going to um, scan the barcode. And on the phone, they will, there's a screen here to actually acknowledge the tear weight. So they do that themselves. We automate the truck scale. After that, we're going to provide bay directions and let them know where they need to go. As they approach the bay, we're going to ask them to scan one more time. Now, we're doing this just to make sure that your operator has the most latest information. Sometimes trucks get out of order in line, and we just want to make sure that when that truck hits the bay, that your operator has the most recent information so they can load them and get them out and get the next one in as quick as possible. But again, they stay in their truck the whole time. Now, if they need to return to the scale for a gross weight, they do that and scan their barcode. Otherwise, we automatically move on to this screen where they are actually going to sign for their bill of lading on their phone, and we will cue the printer to print a a bill of lading or we can deliver it digitally or both. Really it's up to you on how you want to deliver that but that's it. They are done and they can go and deliver that load and come back and get another one. Hopefully at this point you're thinking man that sounds pretty cool but I know there's always a but. But maybe I don't have a, maybe my truck drivers don't want to use smartphones. Maybe they don't want to use a personal phone for business or there's just no way they're going to do this, right? I'm here to tell you that's okay. It's okay with me. I think it should be okay with you as well. It's okay with me because we also provide a touchscreen interface we can hang on a pole at cab height. Those truck drivers stay in their trucks too. Now I would recommend scooting it over a little bit if you have room so the truck drivers that didn't check in beforehand can pull over there and enter their stuff in. They're using the same user-friendly interface just on site but they're not slowing down the rest of the traffic so they're happy with that. Everybody else can move through I'm going to bet at some point they're probably going to want to start using their smartphone because they see how quick it is. But that's, that's really it for load pass. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. I know we're probably getting close on time here. So in conclusion, load pass really is as easy as ready, set, load. Come, be, come see us at booth 421 if you'd like to learn more about how we can improve your efficiency, your throughput, and your safety, and provide a driver experience that will make you the supplier of choice in your area for these truck drivers and the companies they work for. Thanks.